In this lesson, we are going to cover R ports in Adobe XD. So if we switch to Adobe XD, this is the R port that we created. First of all, you can double click right here to change the name of this R board. So for example, our website. And as I said in the previous video, we have some uh, some options right here and some controls. So for our R board, I can click right here and I can see instantly it's 1920 by 1080. It's in pixels. Right here, you can rotate it horizontally and vertically. And these are your X and Y axes for later usage. Next, we have responsive resize. Uh, obviously, this is really useful if you're working with the R port, which is going to be responsive later, and you can switch that on and um, any kind of content you have inside of your R port is going to act responsively when you start resizing it by clicking and dragging this handle on your right. Below that, we have scrolling, so you can change uh, horizontal or none. Uh, sorry, vertical or none. So scrolling is basically when you extend this artboard and you can do so by simply clicking on this dot right here. You can click here and this is basically your cutoff point uh, or your fold line, however you want to call it. So everything above this line is going to be visible on this size and everything below this fold line is not going to be visible until users start scrolling. And this is where you define a uh, vertical scrolling. Horizontal scrolling is going to be added in the future, but for now we just have vertical scrolling. View per height, so this is basically uh, this height. So the entire R port now is at 1207, but viewport height or this fold line is 1080 and this is the original size that we created for this particular R port. Below that we have the appearance, so you can uh, basically remove any color of your R board. You can click right here, change it to uh, any kind of solid color that you want. You can even include gradients. You have linear, radial and angular gradient. So if I choose linear, for example, just to show you, this is how it looks like. And of course, you can click on these stops and you can edit them however you want. And here you can change the opacity of this stop. You can change the colors right here. So just click and drag. I'm going to choose the solid color, go back to white. And finally, what we have right here is the grid. When you click right here, it's going to show you this grid. Here you have the columns, which are these blue bits. Here you have the gutter width, which is the spacing between the columns. Column width, so the width of this blue bit, basically. And here you have your margins, which is this space on the left and on the right of your columns. So how can you actually change that? Well, if I choose, yeah, I'm going to have 12, but I'm going to change this gutter width to be 60, for example. Adobe XD is automatically going to adapt to change all of these settings. So now column width is 82 and margins are linked left and right with 138. So this is the space of 138. Finally, you can click right here. If you want different margins, you can go left, right, top, bottom, and you can change all of these. You can see margin right and margin left are 138 but if I hover right here, margin top and margin bottom are at zero, but you can always go inside and change those settings if you want to, otherwise just keep it right here. And finally, if I change it from layout to square, if you're working with eight pixel grid, for example, this is the default size of your squares. So if I zoom in really closely, every single one of these squares is eight by eight. So if you want to change that, you can simply type in 10, for example, now they are 10 by 10, or if you want to change it to four, now they are four by four and you get the picture. So basically this is how that works when you are in square. And finally, for any one of these, so either for grid or layout, you can use default which in this case, for example, is eight. And if we go back to the layout, you can click use default. This is the default or you can make default. So when you make changes, for example, 60, and I want to make this as a default, you can click right there. Finally, what I want to show you is this. You can click right here on your artboard tool and you can jump in right here to choose from all of these different artboards. And if I hide myself, you can see all of them right here. So these are the mobile devices. These are the tablet devices, web and desktop devices, social media devices and watch devices. But of course, you can always click on your artboard and you can enter custom values. So for example, 2080 with this size. But of course, I will have to go back to my columns and readjust this. So let's go with use default and you can see how that works. Finally, if you want to duplicate your R boards, all you need to do is hit Ctrl or Command D, or you can click on your R board name, hold Alt or Option, and simply drag to make a copy. And this um, 
purple bit between your artboards is actually your spacing between your artboards. And one last thing which I want to share is this. When you go back to home screen, all of these sizes, which I mentioned in the first video, are also located right here and much more. So when you click right here to the artboard tool or hit A on your keyboard, you can access all of these different sizes, which I mentioned right here. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we are going to cover shapes in Adobe XD. So I'll see you there.